Hey YouTube, is you Hyperion? Welcome to episode 2 of my tips and tricks video. Uh, today we're going to be covering the Lyuda Sniper Rifle and the Baruch Assault Rifle. Um, I've just been a big beat Wilhelm and I've got a little bit of a, uh, a, little bit of a tip at the beginning. Uh, some of you guys may or may not know that once you've killed Wilhelm and you bring the power core back to Lieutenant Davis, you can actually turn it in but not place the power core and that activates the mission for the good, the bad, the Mordecai. Uh, which is the quest that we need to get the loader? So we're going to start that. We're going to start that now. So you just turn it in, leave the power core there. Uh, you run over back to the bounty board inside Sanctuary, and now the good, the bad, the Mordecai quest line will be active. Um, from there, we can go into the dust. So let's go over to the middle. Uh, pick that up. We're we'll going to the dust, and we're looking for a echo from Carson. The reason we do this, and you can do this nice and early, is for a character uh, for a a player like me that likes to play a lot of one life and is known for one life to live on Twitch. Uh, getting the Lyuda nice and early is something that's really key to key to a good playthrough and gives you some real damage at the beginning. Um, means you can beat a lot of enemies and it makes just the start off of the playthrough quite easy. So the good about the Mordecai is picked up. Uh, we'll go over to the dust and we're going to pick the, the uh, Echo up for Carson. The reason I'm starting it here is um, I've got a few tips of where you can actually farm for this weapon and where you can get it from, or how you can get to it. But I wanted to start at the beginning just to show you the power core trick, just so you can get it nice and early. So we'll pick a car up, we'll go over to the middle of the dust. Uh, you want to jump from the mid rock uh, over to where Carson, where you're going to pick the echo up from. If you get it right, um, you should be able to do it in pretty decently. So we're going to land it. As perfect as possible. There we go, that's a nice uh, landing. Let's get rid of those barrels just in case. So, this is where we pick the first part of. Uh, that's the first echo for Carson. Jump back in your vehicle, we're going to head over to the other side of the dust and go into the Friendship Gulag. Inside the Friendship Gulag is where we're going to pick up the next part that we need, which it says free Carson from prison. So, let's go into that now. This area can be quite tough actually and challenging, it's going to be on level at the moment um, and obviously as you get into the second playthrough and then onto the third playthrough this can be quite difficult. So let's uh, get through that now. So what we're going to do today is try and speed run it. We'll, we'll run through, pick the thing up and run straight back out. Hopefully we won't go down, hopefully it's going to be okay. We've got Ravager so we should be able to wreck some people in this area. But yeah we're going to get that. Uh, and from there, we're going to go and actually get to the uh, standoff area where Mobile and Geth are going to spawn in. So hopefully, we should get through this without having too much trouble. Uh, Deathrap might be pretty good through here actually, because he's going to take some of the aggro. But yeah, today's it's going to turn into quite a longer video for episode 2 of the tips and tricks, but I feel that it's a good thing for people to know. Um, there's a few kind of neat tricks with, that you're going to find out in this video of how to actually farm and get it, uh, get the weapon. I don't normally go for the Rook's uh, weapon, I'm normally going for the Lyoda. The Rook's can be quite good actually, the Rook in normal mode. And it's some, it can be one of some people's favourite sort of weapon to pick up. But as far as I'm concerned, Lyoda is the one to go for. We're going to be getting, it, getting the RNG from Gettle today. I mean, if we can get one on... on uh, on this video then I mean that'd be good but I'm just going to show you a few ways to farm it. So that's the start of the quest line. It's pretty easy actually. Um, you can do it pretty quickly, especially in normal mode. But if you haven't used the Vladov sniper rifle called the Lyuda then you're kind of missing out because the weapon's really really strong. So here we go. The next tip we're going to give you is a way to get up and over the rock. You can actually jump it with a with a vehicle. You need to spawn the Bandit Technical, the barrel version, um, because that's the fastest one in the game, and that's the only way you're actually going to get up the side of the rock. Plenty of people have probably seen this if they've watched me stream on Twitch. Um, but I just thought I'd put it down on a YouTube video just to show people. So when you get to the top of this hill, if you put full boost on, if you aim for the rock where I'm aiming at, and if you're at full speed, you can actually jump over the rock. I picked this up quite a quite a bit bit of a time ago from some other guys at Stream Borderlands 2. Um, so it's not unique to me. The guy called Captain Fufu was where I originally got it from. Uh, so if we jump across the top, 
we're going to be able to come down and pick the actual mission up, which starts the trucks that can stand off. So let's do that now. So, Mobile and Gettle's going to spawn. Let's have a quick check of this box while they go through the uh, dialogue. We shouldn't need any anarchy stacks. It don't matter if we get the drop today anyway. It's not what it's about. It's just me showing you the different routes that we can go through. Because I've got... There's probably... There's like... There's probably four ways that I'm actually going to... I'm going to be able to show you how to do it today. They're just little neat tricks. Just the easy ways for you to farm it. Or for you to just... Uh, different ways for you to farm it. Because there's different things you want to do. Because if you're doing a one life to live... The one I suggest is just doing it the normal way. Run through all the spider ants. Um because you're going to get the most XP out of it. So make sure you run, up, run through all the spider ants, kill Mobile and Gettle, get all that XP, because uh, the dust is a really good source of XP when you're doing one life to live character. Right, we've done that. So that's the turn. There we go. That's the first part. So now we get into the actual tricks. Uh, we've done six minutes of the video already. This is the actual part where it's going to be the tricks that I'm talking about. First one is to spawn at the Gulag. You can constantly spawn here. Uh, pick the vehicle up that I've just showed you, the barrel technical and constantly jump up which means you can go there and farm so that's the first one that you can do I think this is probably the closest one you can do as well actually so the same you pick the barrel up and you do the jump the next one is if you go down to Lynchwood um, if you open the Lynchwood area and then you travel back through the gate um, and then you go and farm the ladder from there when you save and quit you'll spawn back down this area so when you spawn in at Lynchwood this is one I used to use quite a lot You've got a chance of a Gwen's head spawning on that corner, and also there's a box underneath. So, you'd spawn at this gate. What I used to do is run down here, go underneath, pick the box up, and then you've got a chance, like I said, at the Gwen's head on that corner. You'd spawn your vehicle, uh, and same again. You'd run across, you did the jump up the side of the mountain. Uh, make sure you boost at the top of that hill where I showed you. As long as you're at full boost when you get to the top of the mountain part, you're going to be able to jump over it. So that's another way you can do it. But as I said, I would if you if you're doing like a one life or if you after the XP, the best way to do it is just to run it normally. Run from Ellie's garage, just kill all the different spider ants. Hopefully, you'll get the Black Queen spawn, um, and then obviously Mobile and Gettle, and it's a really really good source of XP. But the next one I'm going to show you is a really really cheeky one that not everybody will know about. I mean, there's numerous ways to do it. Um, I'm not totally sure which is the best way or which way you guys like to do it. Um, but yeah, I would suggest if you wanted XP just to run it normally. But this one's a little trick. What you want to do is come up to this gate, crouch. You have to crouch there or it won't go through. And then you can actually like clip through this, the side of these uh, trash piles. And what you can do is you can just run up the side of the mountain. So you've not got to spawn a car at all. Uh, which is, is a pretty neat trick, really. If you just want to get the Lyuda farm and you don't want to farm any of the spider ants, you could do this. But I, I would suggest probably the quickest way is from the Friendship Gulag. That's the shortest drive. The spawn into it is, is the better way to go. Um, I often use the Lynchwood way, um, just because you've got the chance of getting the Gwen's Head. Which the Gwen's Head in normal and in probably TBHM can do a lot of work. I mean, it, it's still good further up, but as far as playthroughs are concerned and as far as, as I said, a lot of my content twitch related or probably youtube is going to be geared towards a hardcore run because i like to do one life to live so this is the same hill as where you jump up but you've had you can just run here so it's pretty easy really it's they're pretty easy farms it glitches into the wall a little bit but these they basically they're just a few ways for you to get the lyoda as i said the lyoda is one of the better weapons in this game it's worth a farm it's worth taking it in, into any area because um, it just gives you a, a lot of damage really for its level we didn't manage to get one but yeah they're the, they're the tips and tricks I've got for you today which is just the Lyuda farm I think it's, it's good to share and you guys should get something out of that if you do if you actually farm it in any other way and you want to talk about it in the comment section by all means leave a comment uh, but that's going to do it for today that's episode two uh, if you like the video, please feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you all have a good day.